Before we get started, I just want to thank Viking Jewelry for helping out and sponsoring this video. They sent this awesome bracelet here, which is made of braided cotton rope and lava stone, and it closes with this bronze axe. They've also launched their own YouTube channel, which I'm going to link down below, along with coupon codes. It's scal 40 for 40% 40 off the axe bracelets for 48 hours, and scal 20 for 20% 20 off the whole store for the next 15 days. Among everything that 2020 has been throwing at us, this trailer is just unnecessary insult to injury. I just had the misfortune of stumbling upon this masterpiece randomly. A trailer for <laughs> Arthur and Merlin, Knights of Camelot 2020. So, in addition to the usual terrible trailer format that we see over and over and over again in exactly the same way, we also have a standard list of tropes. Generic leather vest with useless rings? Check. Obvious petty villain with zero character depth? You will marry me or I will kill you. Check. I'm like so lonely and stuff, but you wouldn't understand. Lame heroic speech. We are knights chosen to protect Camelot. Check. Shouting dudes. <laughs> Check. Horrendously cheap wall hanger Excalibur. Check. I mean, this is exactly the same low quality, dysfunctional wall hanger piece of junk that has been floating around on the market for probably decades at this point. Let's see what else we have. Ah, yes. The famous sternum carry. The other guys look ridiculous enough, but at least they could strap a sword belt. What is he doing? This homeless dude is supposed to be Merlin? <sighs> the renowned dirty peasants of the round. Gathering in the backyard of Value Village? That half-naked beefcake dude clumsily swinging at the maze. That's kind of a highlight, isn't it? I guess I can at least credit them with not putting Arthur in 15th century plate armor, the way it often happens. But they kind of went the opposite direction. Oh, armor? What's that? Zero. No armor. Nothing useful. Everybody has... <laughs> stolen leather? <laughs> All right, enough scathing mockery for now. Let's also throw in a bit of education about the historical background. So the earliest mention of Arthur is in the Historia Britonum, which is from the 9th century. And it mentions Arthur as the leader of the Britons who were defeating the invading Anglo-Saxons at the Battle of Mount Baden. So that was in the late 5th or early 6th century. There are a few other potential candidates for the figure of King Arthur, but they're also between the 5th and 6th century. And uh, historians have long debated the topic at length, and from what I've read, it's really impossible to know, to say for sure, if a historical King Arthur really existed. But either way, it seems fair to say that someone or some event inspired the legend. So the original was about defending Britain against Anglo-Saxon invaders. There was no quest for the Holy Grail, no round table, no, no sword from the lake, etc. And you have to keep in mind this was in, in the context of the collapse of the Roman Empire. So the Romans left Britain and it was basically undefended. So the legend was fleshed out in the 12th century. That's when they introduced the Holy Grail, Merlin, Excalibur, the Lancelot Guinevere story, love story, etc. So most of what we think of as Arthurian legend, uh, some of which may have been taken from earlier Welsh and Breton sources, but it's unclear what and how much. So you can look at it two ways. Either it's supposed to be late 5th, early 6th century, or you can place it in the 12th century if you take like the, f the whole story, which is what they did. Either way, what you see in this trailer looks absolutely nothing 
like in any of these periods. Sixth century British clothing and armor did not include a bunch of leather rags and rings haphazardly stitched to them or any of the other nonsense you see there. And if you put it in the 12th century, which makes sense considering that the 12th century editions of Merlin, Excalibur, etc. are in this, then it also looks completely different. 12th century armor, you need a lot of mail. Not large rings attached to a vest. Not leather rags. Not, you know... Mail with a surcoat. You know who got that right? Monty Python. Monty Python and the Holy Grail is more historically accurate than this trailer. And that's a parody. <laughs> like, oh boy. Couldn't they just have made it some fantasy scenario where it's just a king and a magic sword and, you know, a magician as advisor and whatever. They, they can, you know, make it obvious that it's inspired by Arthurian legend. But just, can you just not call it that? I mean... This is better than referring to real-life historical events with real historical figures and everything. Uh, this is a bit gray area because uh, an, a historical Arthur may have existed, but this is still the legend that they're referring to here. So it's better than just butchering an actual historical event. I'm so tired of these tropes. These really ridiculous tropes that they keep repeating over and over again where everybody is clad in dirty, dark brown. Anyway, I don't know how good the movie is, but based on the trailer, even completely ignoring anything historical and just treating it as pure fantasy, the trailer looks terrible. Like... The way it's done, it's so generic and so... I've said that G word a number of times. But it's just what it is. It's so standard. It just, just puts you asleep. So, yeah, I just felt like ranting about it just to vent and to sprinkle in just a little bit of education. But uh, mainly, I hope you found it entertaining. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.